ready? Three, two, one. G'day, uh, Bears TV. So on the weekend, St Peter's, uh, a team that's had the better of us for two or three years now. The great man beside me won the toss, we had a bat. Uh, and first, first, first win for the year, thank you. And as you'd expect, the great man beside me got off to a great start as well with Jano. Uh, probably, what, 50 for Nord? Yep. Got a good platform. Um, again, Corey with, so consolidated after Jano made 20 yard. Cal uh, come in, played a really good innings, was really strong. So the platform again was set by Corey with a 60 yard. Um, I don't know if I've played with a better cricket, cricket ever in my life. I've probably played 200 games of cricket. I'm not sure if I've ever played with a better batsman in my life, so I've got to get down on my knees or anything. But uh, I, I come out to bat with Corey, and we were probably, what, three for... Three for Norny, I reckon, and yeah. um, we were in, in a good position. We set a, set a good platform. Uh, me and Stan tried to say we'll bat till 40 overs, and unfortunately I had a really soft out again. <laughs> Um, but it was really, really crucial that Stan batted, you know, to that 45, 44 over mark and, and Stan got a really crucial run of all 40, um, which was supported by nearly everyone. Uh, Jiggles 10, Harris 10, Burnsy 10, run of all, Tommy put his shoulder out with a 10, 15 not out. Um, uh, just another really even spread um, with, with con contributors all the way down. Um, um, which got us over 200, which I think at Marshall, 200 is probably past score. We, I reckon we back only... ourselves with our bowling attack to defend 200 every week, so with 203, we're, we're pretty pleased. I reckon we're the only team that's made 200 every game this year, pretty much, so it was a good start, and then after a couple of sloppy overs, it was nice to see the return of Brad Greenwood. Uh, I don't think he got the reward yesterday, but he was back to his line and length and doing the job. Jason <laughs> Tonga! And then for um, your missus, we knew that okay. we that's knew okay. that the top order at St Peter's was really strong, and for JD to get the first four was uh, it was a return to quintessential JD from last year, where he just ripped the, ripped the guts out of every top order in the GCA. So for JD to get four for whatever he got was a great start, set the platform. And then we put the heat on heat on JD and Granny after last week. We've been a little bit rusty with the ball, especially in the first ten. So. Um, for JD and Green to bounce back the way they did shows they're the, the, you know, the premier bowlers in the competition. Yeah. So we had them on the back foot, they were none for 20, they were four for 20. Um, Cal come on, uh, Tommy obviously didn't bowl a ball uh, or field a ball. Um, Cal bowled really well, uh, his first six overs were fantastic, his last over was ratchet. Cream pies. Um, but that's okay. Jack Burns, Burns and um, Burns Tate were great as Burns well. Burns played a really good role for us and it was great to see him get a wicket. Um, so he took, I think, one in both seven overs on the trot. Stan come on and clean up the tail with three for five. Sorry, Brad. Putrid. Uh, I took four blinders, and um, <laughs> and that's that's about it. We had a great win. We're, we're equal top, so we're happy. Four days. and one. Merry Christmas. Thank you.